sure. And they have passion, and they always show up when it comes to MomaCon. So we're oh, excited yeah. for that. But talk to me, man. I heard you getting pretty excited on the mic when we heard Kiki was yeah, in the building. Yeah, Kiki in the building. I love this dude. Of course, the, the Cirque uh, TO. I know he's got some other stuff cooking. Mm -hmm. He was teasing a 3.5 and possibly a 4.0. So anybody Ooh. in the area, get excited about that. But yeah, I also just, I love the Diddy Kong. Right. I am a Diddy Kong enjoyer through and through. I love that, man. Yeah. What an incredible character, right? Had so many tools. It's been, you know, pretty much always strong throughout the course of their span throughout the series. It's really exciting to see. And then you got the Classico, man. The Mario, the red, white, and blue. Donning it off, man. I love it. Yeah, but up against maybe Dominator here. We'll see if that maybe becomes into a definitely. Either way, we're keeping it even so far. You know, it's that, that first stock, just yep. feeling each Feel other out. out. Yeah. You don't want to overextend. Never, man. You especially want to get that information, matchup. right? And then you go from there. And especially, you know, it, it's interesting to you, right? Because, you know, especially on the Mario side, when you're able to get a little bit of information, all right, you're going to get some insane punishes, man. We got a solid one right there. But we know about those those clean kills, early percents. You love the up smash. That's going to be a great punish there. And Dominator is looking pretty good. And the same thing goes the other way, right? You've got that banana for a reason. He's holding it, trying to find that one opening. At this point, he's not going to get the hard kill off of it with an F smash or an up smash, but he can get you off stage just like this. And then you've got those Z-drop yes. shenanigans, and that's going to even it up. Good stuff to Kiki. I love that, man. Being consistent with that. It's such a powerful tool in Diddy's arsenal, man. As you drop into the dare like you talked about, that banana makes and breaks his character, right? So a lot of times when you're competing against this character, it's really really define about, okay, are you going to allow them to pull the banana and then what situation? How do you get out of that stalemate that is usually present because the banana is so good? And I love seeing Diddy just get continually better at navigating the character with the banana, with the Z catches and everything as well. I mean, you have to do that in this day and age when it comes to ultimate. Yeah, that banana is such a powerful tool. How many times have you seen the Diddy holds the banana and whoever their opponent is just sits there in shield praying that they don't lose the timing war and can yeah. jump to safety. Oh, 1,000%. Oh, wow. What a great slant down tilt there. Oh, oh now we got the banana. Can you do something with it? Down tilt combos. Okay. Resets. Okay, doesn't get the air dodge. Yeah, but nonetheless, I'm liking what we're seeing from Dominator, right? A lot of times when you have most people who, are, who have their item play, it's not up to snuff, right, against a Diddy Kong main, right? Yes. Uh, you know, clearly that's usually going to be the case, but I still feel like he's using it pretty reliably. He's been getting some solid punishes here. He's getting some damage. He's not too afraid to use it, and that's a big deal. Yeah, very true. I mean, maybe it's just a case of Dominator plays against a Diddy fairly often and realize, wait yeah. a minute, I need to figure out what I'm doing in this matchup because having those item combos can turn a 40-60 you know, matchup into a 50-50 or even a 40-60 the other way. Yes, 100%, 100%. See the Ooh. step back. Oh, yeah, let's go slide down tilt. That one's going to do it. That Absolutely. Was, that was so unfortunate for Dominator. I'm pretty sure that back air was attempting to grab the banana out of the air. Yeah. But those slight misspacings, speaking of which, okay, that time the aerial's coming out. Yeah. But, yeah, slight misspacings can take a stop. Yeah, 100%. And I really love that from Dominator, right? Because before he's been going for these fireballs quite often. And so I think Kiki recognized that and tried to go a little bit early, and that's where their nair comes out, right? And it, like you talked about, really setting the stage from the beginning of the game to the end of the game, we're already seeing some adaptations come to fruition, and I love to see it. Okay. Mm, there we go. Oh, we already there know what time go. it is. All right. Oh, that not going to get to catch that air dodge. Yeah, he did give him the air dodge he was looking for, yeah. but he didn't follow the DI, right? You have a two-step verification there before you oh, can absolutely. actually close that out. Let's see. Step. Oh, yeah. Trying to just go for that down throw and a banana toss, but this time Dominator has it in his hand, and I love that. Just using that flood to really just make sure that he can make a disengagement, right? Yeah, and just get off me. Stuff. Yeah, just take on that stage control. Both players so cool, calm, and collected in the player cams right now. It may be a best of five, but this first game, that counter pick advantage can go such a long way in this war of attrition. Oh, absolutely. Good catch there, there but, you know, not going to get his Z catch, so that is going to allow opportunity here. Oh, man, a bit uh, too eager with that Z drop. Yeah, I don't know about that. That looked pretty forced from Kiki. Are you going to pay for it? Dominator got you off stage at 138. Yeah, yeah, holding on to it. I love that because it's so good. You already know they are keen on the fact that they lost their stock last time because of an edge guard, mm -hmm. right? So when most people are in that situation, they're not even thinking about the Trump, right? They're right. so concerned about, man, I can't get edge guarded again, right? I can't let that happen. I need to grab this ledge. And then they get that sigh of relief. And right when they have that sigh of relief, you hit him with the mix, you get the trump, you get the bear, and you close out the stock. I love that. Good stuff there by Dominator. Yep, beautiful execution. 
And using that cape, that's something that makes it so easy for Mario to get those ledge trumps. And part of the reason we see Mario's do it so much more than a lot of other characters, in my opinion, I think that's a place where the meta is currently pretty weak. Right. I think that it would go pretty far if some top players started really optimizing those ledge trump 50-50s. Yo, thousand percent, thousand percent. I remember seeing something like a year ago from Tilde where he was messing around with 50-50s like that at the ledge using slingshots. Right. And it's so well, basically impossible to react to and it forces people to instantly choose a ledge option which takes away another piece of their toolkit in the corner. Yeah, no, I, I truly believe in that too. Like, you, It's something that is so strong, and as people go on, you really want to be able to make sure that every single hit counts, and that's part of that, right? Getting these corner carries, getting them off stage, and then putting them in Ooh. positions like this. The conversions from Dominator are so good. Has a handy lead in the percents here, but we saw what happened the first stock of the last game. Yeah. As soon as Kiki gets you off stage with that banana in hand, it could be curtains. Dang, look at the pressure from Dominator. I'm telling you, man, he knows about that potassium. <laughs> My man, good to go out here. Absolutely. Man, good stop. Oh, trying to get a shot again with the fireball. Not going to get it. Just going to wait here for Dare. Not going to get punished. Look at the pressure. Dominator Those really exerting his will, man. Using the... Oh, the fake! That was so good from Kiki. I'm so sad yeah. that that didn't work out. Not enough, man. Yeah, you hate to see that happen. It was a great idea. Okay, nice. Yeah. And now you're in that situation where Dominator remembers what happened, has to play it slow, play it careful, even has the banana, a little bit of nair drop shenanigans as well, trying to put the pressure on Kiki, get him to make a mistake. Yeah, finally we're seeing like more positional advantage here for Kiki, but just as I say that, man, we're gonna see that jump, that crossover there from Dominator, and now Dominator gonna sit back. Oh, banana in play. Oh, I love that. On the shield, but it's not gonna be enough, unfortunate. That's the counter pick coming into play. Any other stage, that would have killed. Yeah. But it goes both ways. Ooh, oh, no! no! Kiki! Where did you go? Oh, I think he thought he was on the other side of Mario there. Yeah. Because my man held up to die faster. Yo, a thousand percent. He did not expect that to be killed. Okay, we got it. Yeah, going to get the up tilt, but man, Dominator yeah. just... Having his way with him right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry, Kiki. It's looking rough. Yeah, you, you might have to hold that until Stark 4, my guy. Yeah. That's rough. Get a jab. Right. Okay, get those potassium going in those bones. No cramps on this last stock. But can you actually get something to happen here? What a forward air. Dude, just <laughs> swinging for the fences. No respect. And I love the DI in. He's like, hey, man, you had your chance before to get that nair. Dare, not going to happen a second time. Yeah, you tried it once. I remember that. An elephant never forgets. Yes, sir. Okay, good catch. Oh, man, the double trip and still no punish. Kiki's crumbling here. Some desperation plays not coming through. What a nair from Dominator out of hit stun. That frame three goes crazy. Yeah. Okay, good catch there with the town tilt, but again, still not getting any kind of strong punish here. Good bear. Looking for the fireball opportunity. Okay. That was nice. I love that. I love that. We're back in this. We are one cheeky conversion away. Of course, Dominator with a pretty solid lead here, but I've seen people come back for much worse. Oh, a thousand percent, man. Let's see what you got, Kiki. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. He said, stop the presses. Dominator at the ledge. Usually in this matchup, you think of Diddy as the ledge monster. Yeah. But the way Dominator is using those tools to perfection to stuff out all of the corner exit options that Diddy is known for. Mm -hmm. Like, that flip kick is not even relevant right now. Yeah, man, and it's like, that's scary, right? That's scary because you can tell that Kiki's pretty flustered, right? You're seeing him kind of pull out all the stops. He's showcasing a lot of his, you know, his gimmicks and stuff as well, too, but they've all just been silenced by Dominator right yeah. now. And like you said, such strong corner gameplay we're seeing from Dominator. He needs to figure out how to deal with the own banana on ledge. <laughs> <laughs> Three missed aerials on the banana. That yeah. is a... Uh, that's a Smash Ultimate Classic uh -huh. right there. True that. I've definitely been in a bracket match, and we've just been shadow boxing nowhere trying to pick that thing up. Oh, swing at it, man. Okay, for that Ooh. Luzera dodge. Also, worth noting that we have gone back to the same stage here. Yeah. Which has not worked out for Kiki, but he keeps going back. 
So unfortunate, because yeah, the like the up smash not working out for him. Meanwhile, Dominator's up special working, or excuse me, down air rather, yeah. working out really well. Unfortunate, just the way the cards happened to be played here. Yeah, definitely. I think for him, kind of going back and looking at the set, really love for him to try to try out some other stages here to see this work for him. Because, right, I, I think a lot of times some people will be like, okay, maybe the stage is great for me there specifically, or I think it's okay, I got the space. But you got to take in all the aspects into account for your character and also your opponent, right? Yeah, and like, what what are you comfortable with? Exactly. If you happen to be good on a stage that's supposed to be bad for your character, it doesn't matter. But at the same time, it, it goes both ways where it may just be a matter of he's getting outplayed and the stage isn't the issue. Yeah. So it's important to be aware of which of those two scenarios it is. And that's yes. so hard to know mid-set. It is. Oh, trying to throw the oh, drop there. Yeah. Oh, my okay. gosh, of course. And you know that's a classic because, again, most people, when they see that, they start looking for a, a tech or something along those lines, which usually means that translates into a buffered roll. And Mario's love that sequence time and time again. Yeah, that was nice. Dominator talking to him right now. Even up the percents. Perfect 33.7 on both sides. Dominator breaking the stalemate. Oh, here? Oh, DI no. mix up. Oh, no. Oh, you know it's time. Oh, you got schmixed. Man. Last time he went for the down air. This time he went for the up B. Kiki, I don't know if he could have survived, but he definitely didn't have the best DI on that. Yeah, unfortunately, DI too close to the sun there. Got Enabled him to really get to that platform to finish out that conversion. Yeah, my man may be Icterus, or maybe he's a Phoenix. Got one more opportunity to rise from the ashes on this last stock, but he's got such a mountain to climb. Only 55% on Dominator's second stock. Yeah, it's looking rough here. See, you can catch there. Oh, the Nair, of course, to interrupt these jump-ins. Dominator's really got a sense of the timing we're seeing from Kiki. Ooh. Okay, gets it down tilt. Again, these down tilts not really getting any damage off it. Oh, I uh, love big. the F tilt. Great opportunity, and that's going to be a stock. Okay, 78%. This is still in the realm of doable here. It but is you got to watch this area. My man, more than just a TO. This is to make it out of pools, make it to finals day, top 128. But he's got to dig deep. He needs to find that Z drop combo that he found in the first game. Yeah, and. Man, I feel it's so rough there for Kiki because I do believe on the right side of the stage, he actually had a great, great uh, conversion there. And then he actually recognized the double jump coming out from Dominator. That potentially could have been a really early kill, and that could have gotten oh. him the game. But we're still in it. We're still racking up damage. We're at 53%. Got to be wary, though, of some kill confirms coming out here from Dominator probably soon. Or even just that raw up smash. You should be at the percent. We're on town and city. Doesn't matter how high that blast zone is. It's going to kill. Yeah. And now the banana in Dominator's hand. Okay. They're trying to pressure him. Looking for that dare. Not going to get it. Risky monkey flip. He gets away with it. 85%. It's starting to rack up. Yeah, the bear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great call out. Expecting that banana pool. Kiki maybe a little too fast and loose with it. Yeah, man. Not going to work out. I really love the fact that Dominator, despite being at the percentages like you were talking about earlier, where up smash would definitely be a thing, regardless of where they were. I really love the fact that he's like, hey, man, I've been able to get a, get you a lot of times with the air-to-airs mm -hmm. with a ton of these bears. So I'm just going to let this rock. At this point in time, I've gotten enough damage on you. If I just play solid yeah. right, and I approach this situation very carefully and apply pressure with these bears, sooner or later, I'm going to catch you lacking. I've been getting you with way too many air-to-airs. So I'm, so I'm going to rely on this. It ended up working out for him. Yeah, it was really good situational awareness from Dominator because you were talking about playing that comfortable game, not going for the hard read stuff. Yeah. But earlier in the set and in those earlier stocks, we saw a little bit of the opposite. Right. Getting those hard call outs on things like air dodges, ledge options, making more risky plays because the risk reward made sense in those scenarios. Yeah, so no, great adaptation. Yeah, I love that. Ooh, but that was a good one, man. Just a, a powerful 3-0, yeah, man. Dominator A. The name's a name, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's up to you to make it happen. Yeah, no maybe did. about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, man. what a great set to start us out. To, for reference to everybody at home, that was a little bit of a throwback to the previous pool. We had one more set to go. Really happy that we got to see those guys.